assalamu alaikum students hope you all are fine i am miss kamal sumer and today this is a block of english comprehension here is going to be loud reading of the lesson from void named food for thought the author is michael pryor by the end of the lesson learners will be able to listen comprehend and respond to the text and attempt the quiz let's see today's plan there is going to be introduction of the lesson first then loud reading of the pages 33 till 38 during the reading new vocabulary along with the meaning will be shared in the end homework will be given things you need to have are voyage if you have or the snapshots of the lesson pages which are attached with this video and the dictionary before starting the lesson let's explore what does food for thought mean it means something to think about if you give someone food for thought you make them think carefully about something something similar happened in this lesson let's see what is it you must be thinking why there are monsters everywhere let me tell you today's lesson is about a monster There are two main characters in this story, a monster and a boy named Sam. In both sides of the book page, you will be able to see vocabulary along with its meaning. Let's start reading. Subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for more relevant and comprehensive videos. Food for thought, page number 33. When Sam opened the front door and saw the monster there, he knew It was going to be a really rotten day. Rotten means very bad. Sam knew a monster when he saw it, and the thing on his doorstep was definitely a monster. It was three meters tall. It had scaly green skin with warts all over it. Wart means a small rough growth on the skin, looks like a solid blister. Warts is a plural of it. two tiny horns on either side of an enormous ugly head and what a smell enormous means very large in size right it said i have come to eat you somehow sam knew it was going to say that it's nothing personal mind you the monster continued head of a sandwich and here i am my id The monster held out a card in its massive clawed hand. Massive means exceptionally large or huge. Clawed hand means hand with claw. Sam looked closely at it. Human Eaters Corporation Limited. It said, "The little color photo matched the monster who was smiling at him." What do you think? Why the monster is here? Let's find out on the next page. Oh, said Sam. I suppose you'd better come in then. Sam always tried to be polite even when it was difficult. Nice place you have got here. The monster said as it followed Sam into the living room. I like the carpet. I'll try not to leave any stains on it. Stains means dirty spots. Oh, thanks. said Sam. Um, do you really have to eat me? I am afraid so, said the monster. Orders are orders after all. So, let's get it over with. Shall we get over with means to finish, especially set of something unpleasant. Isn't there anything I can do about it? Sam asked. Not really, said the monster sympathetically. We do have to go through the riddle game, though. Sympathetically means in a way that shows pity and sorrow for someone's misfortune. The riddle game? Asked Sam. He had always been good at riddles. Yes, said the monster. It's part of the deal. We swap riddles until either you or I fail to answer one. If you fail, I go ahead and eat you. If I fail, I go away and you don't get eaten. But I won't fail. I never do. 
The monster leaned back in the armchair, which creaked alarmingly. Leaned back means set or bent backward. Creaked, a harsh, high-pitched sound made by a chair when the weight was applied. Alarmingly means in a disturbing way. Hey, that's a nice coffee table. It exclaimed. It reached over, picked the table up and swallowed it. Excuse me, it said. I haven't had anything to eat for ages. What do you think? Who is going to lose? Sam or the monster? Sam's stomach felt as if a dozen butterflies were wrestling inside it because when the monster opened its mouth, Sam saw the teeth. They were long, sharp and well used. Okay, the monster said wiping a few splinters from its rubbery green lips. Splinters means small thin sharp pieces of wood broken off from larger piece. No sense in wasting time. I'll go first. What occurs once in a minute, twice in a moment, but never in a thousand years. Sam laughed. That's pathetic. The letter M of course. Pathetic means pitiful. The monster ripped off a chunk of the armrest and stuffed it in his mouth. Ripped off means pulled something forcibly. Chunk means thick, solid piece of something. Stuffed means filled. Look, I'm just getting warmed up. Sam thought quickly. What game do you play with wombats? He asked. Wombat means an animal which resembles a small bear with short legs. Will the monster be able to guess the answer? Let's see. The monster looked stunned. Stunned means so shocked. It stopped chewing and repeated. What game do you play with wombats? What sort of a riddle is that? You could play anything with them. Golf, snooker, lawn balls. Lawn balls is a game in which the players roll a large black or brown ball as close as possible to a white small ball. Is that your answer? Asked Sam. Now, let me think. It sat there, mumbling and muttering. Mumbling means speaking quietly and in an unclear way that the words are difficult to understand. Muttering speaking quietly and in a low voice that is not easy to hear. Sam watched and began to get excited. Perhaps he didn't have to get eaten after all. The monster sat up suddenly. I have got it. Womp. That's what you play with wombats. Sam slumped in his chair. Slumped means sat or fell. I thought I had you with that one. Nearly. The monster said, You are not bad at this game. It's a pity. I'll have to eat you when you lose. Pity means feeling of sorrow for someone. Thanks, said Sam. If you would be in place of Sam, what riddle would you have asked from the monster? Don't forget to type the riddle in the comment box below. Okay, what did the little dog say when it sat on the sandpaper? Sam looked at the monster and he knew that his time had come. He put his hat in his hands. Think, dog on sandpaper? What do dogs say? What does sandpaper say? Time's up, announced the monster. Answer please. What did the little dog say when it sat on the sandpaper? Sam could think of only one thing, so he said it hopefully. Woof! The monster shook its head in sympathy. So close! I thought you had it! Sympathy means feeling of sorrow for someone else's misfortune. So what's the answer? Ruff ruff! Get it? The monster roared with laughter. That's an awful riddle! Sad Sam disgusted. Awful means very bad. Disgusted means strong feeling of dislike. It sounds like one of those stupid ones you get inside Christmas crackers. So it should. 
That's where I got it from. Now, time to eat you. The monster paused. Paused means stopped for a short time. No hard feelings. It's that personal. No, no. You are just doing your job. Go ahead, said Sam. What is going to happen next? I'm curious to know. Let's read the next page. Wait. The monster pulled out a sheet of paper. I have to do it properly. He unfolded the paper and began to read aloud. Unfolded means opened. I, as official representative of Human Eaters Corporation Limited, have won the riddle game and am therefore entitled to eat the human name. Sam Rebel of 47 Hanover Street, Ring Bark. Representative means someone chosen to speak on behalf of someone else. Or you can say agent. Entitled means someone has rights to something. Hold on, interrupted Sam. Did you say Sam Rebel? The monster frowned and looked at his paper. Frown means brought eyebrows together showing you are worrying. Yes. Oh, 47 Hanover Street? Yes. That's next door. This is 45 Hanover Street. The monster's jaw dropped. I'm dreadfully sorry. How can I apologize enough for wasting your time? Jaw dropped means very shocked. Dreadfully means very badly. That's okay, said Sam. It could happen to anyone. I'll see myself out, the monster said. It rose and ducked through the doorway. Ducked through means lowered head downwards to avoid being hit. Sam heard the front door close and smiled. He never had like Sam Rebel anyway. I hope you have enjoyed the reading. Now it's time to share your homework. Read this lesson thoroughly, then attempt the quiz. And don't forget to turn it in because it's marked. That's enough for today. See you in the next lesson. Till then, take very good care of yourself. Allah Hafiz. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Comment down and let me know which lessons you want me to cover in my upcoming videos. Take care.